Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope for May 2017. And this is from Sunday the 7th of May up to Saturday the 13th of May and it's for you coming from Virgo. Let's start with Sunday the 7th which is really not a good start for you. Plenty of difficulties, plenty of trouble at home with your marriage and family people. If you have a romance partner, it's going to be stretched as well to causing a lot of heartaches and things going wrong. So morning, afternoon and early evening periods, very troublesome for you. Accidents are also possible. So lie low, let others take the lead. Otherwise blame is going to come against you as well. Make sure that the words you use are kind, otherwise you are going to be blamed for being rude. Everything like this, you've got to take the soft approach on a day, morning and afternoon and early evening periods. As the evening moves in and the nightfall comes, the situation becomes dramatically good for you. So good to plan socializing with your marriage, family, people, romance partner, even with your colleagues if you want, or with the business people. And you'll find that your evening, uh, late evening, late evening and nightfall session becomes very lucky for you. Looking for romance, that's a time when you want to go hunting. Monday the 8th starts very nicely for you and it's going to end very nicely for you. The whole day, morning, noon and night is to your favour. So even before you leave home for work, already good things are happening. Good news at your place of work with your bosses, with your colleagues. Good news in business if you are in business and you'll find morning afternoon session, although the planets are a bit slow, they lead you into good news and good things waiting to happen for you in all areas of your life. The evening and nightfall session speeds up and speeds up very nicely and very progressively and very well for you. So you'll find that what the news which fully did not come in the morning afternoon session will come in the evening and nightfall session. So mix business and pleasure, go out with your colleagues, bosses, go out with your family and marriage partner, go out with your romance partner. It's a perfect time, a perfect day to go looking for romance. You're going to connect very nicely. So the whole day extremely progressive and ends very well as well. Tuesday the 9th, some aggressive planets take the lead. So something you say, something you do may seem too aggressive for others, whether in marriage, romance, with your colleagues, bosses or with your business people. So take the soft approach. You have to use words which are kind, use a body language which is kind and you will find that you can lessen the trouble waiting to happen on Tuesday the 9th. It is possible. But I really don't like your evening and nightfall period. So I'd rather you don't socialize. But if you have to, if it's already been planned, I don't want you to cancel it because that may be the reason why the situation becomes bad in the evening and nightfall session. But tell yourself that you have to be on your best behavior during the evening and nightfall period. You are going to be disappointed one way or another. So since you have already heard this from me, be prepared. Don't show it as the worst, first, worst day in your life. And uh, if you can control yourself, you'll be able to control the situation. Accidents are also possible, be careful. Wednesday the 10th, a lot of ego planets are seen. You are not approachable, you are not negotiable, you are arrogant, you are egoistic. So do the opposite and be approachable and don't allow your ego to make others feel that you are proud and, uh, and not approachable either and do the opposite and that way you will make your morning afternoon sessions good. There is a possibility of meeting somebody important and if you are going to meet that somebody important in any area of your life, you have to tell yourself, take the soft approach. The evening session and nightfall session really turns bad. Now these planets of the evening and nightfall don't suddenly appear, they are there in the whole day. They create little bits of mischief morning and afternoon session. But in the evening and nightfall, they have a lot of continuity. So they are there and they make sure that disappointment in any area of your life must come. Well, you've heard it from me. Now confuse your planets. Make sure you're not arrogant. Make sure you're not a person who talks bad about others. Make sure that you're a person who is approachable and negotiable. And that way you will make the evening and nightfall session much, much, much less worse 
and you may even end up getting what you want in the evening session. But accidents are also possible, watch out. Thursday 11, too much water in the horoscope for you in Virgo. You are undecided, unsure, you are in a dreamlike state. But you need to focus because there is something important for you to do. And if you don't focus, nothing will be done. So use facts and figures, use logic, use focus, don't allow yourself to stay in this limbo of emotionalness and that way you'll get some things done. You can plan changes if you want. Um, all right. Now the evening and nightfall period becomes much better and the chances of you enjoying yourself, meeting people who will help you, good news comes in all areas of your life, solutions which couldn't be found earlier are now found. So even emotional side of life is very nice for you in the evening and nightfall session. Friday the 12th is a good enough day. It produces plenty of support for you coming from Virgo and it produces good news coming your way. Business planets are there. So career, job, the business areas are very important for you to concentrate on in the morning and afternoon period. And even in the area of marriage and family and romance, you will be on top of it. Only one bit of news is do not dominate. There is a planet there which makes you very strict, very pushy and wants you to dominate and control the situation or even control others. Don't do that or you will spoil things. The evening and the nightfall period, aggressive planets are there. So don't be aggressive. Don't show your temper. Use words which are soft and kind. Have a body language which is most helpful and agreeable. And you will lessen these planets of aggression. It's also known as the planet of determination. So don't be too determined that you, that you must at all cost get what you want. Don't be that. Coast along with it. It'll come in its own way for you. The evening can be managed as long as you are not aggressive. Thursday the 13th starts very nicely for you and it produces plenty of opportunities and so being a Saturday you'll find that the morning and afternoon periods are very nice and produce plenty of romance possibilities if you're looking for that. In marriage areas things are going very well. If you're working plenty of good news in job areas, in business areas as well. Be busy. The evening and nightfall period is when ego planets move in very strongly. And these ego planets can make you feel isolated because of your arrogance, because of your tendency not to be agreeable. So don't allow that to happen now that you've heard me say it. So uh, tell yourself, I've got to agree with others and flow with the tide. That way I'll get what I want in the end. Somebody important is there to be met. So the last thing you want to do is to be argumentative or to be arrogant. Well, that's my advice for you for this week. Do go to Facebook. I'm already Skyping and um, go to Facebook so that you can communicate with me and we can make a date for Skype. I'm charging USD 5050 for a 90 minute Skype session and that will be based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms and also using Kabbalistic tarot cards. Well, I look forward, or just go to Skype and leave a message for me. I look forward to Skyping with you one day. It'll be for your next five or six years that I'll be very, very in detail, tell you what's going to happen in all areas of your life. Until then, thank you and good luck.